Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial of Blender and Geometry Nodes. Today we are going to create a holes instancer or a geometry nodes that can create holes on your geometry in 3D space. So let's get started. I'm working on Blender version 3.3.1. I know that there is another simple method to create this effect using for example a displacing map on the shading editor. But in this case if you need a more accurate effect on your geometry, if you're looking very very near the surface uh, with your camera you could probably need this uh, solution so we can delete the camera delete light go up plus general geometry nodes and shift a to create a simple plane new to create a new geometry nodes and the concept is very very simple we have uh, a surface and we want to instance uh, a mesh to create holes for each face uh, of this uh, surface and or for each vertices all inside the surface so without create instances on the corner on the boundary of the surface even i extrude some edges or faces or vertices so i want this effect for example we will use two ways to instantiate these holes one is a simple circle line and the other is uh, using a um, custom collection of objects that you want so first of all we need to choose what kind of uh, object to use for our holes and for this we can use a circle curve ctrl g to create we can rename the geometry nodes as holes we can use a switch press n go to group and we can add some attributes one is for example if if we want to have holes on vertices it's a boolean attribute another is on faces then because we have the curve circle we need to define the circle resolution and this is an integer number from zero the circle radius from zero and this is a float number save the project and we can add another attribute to define if we want to use a custom collection and this is the boolean so in this case i can use this use custom collection in this switch and if this is false i want to use the curve circle and link the circle resolution and the circle radius on these nodes otherwise i won't use a collection so i can add a collection of shapes add add here a shape like plane for example scale it a little little bit control a to apply the scale this is very very important g to move z on the z axis a little bit so we can see the difference i can select these create a new material for example metal to see the metal effect on this surface set the roughness with a lower value okay and now we need another attribute that is the collection that we want and this is a collection attribute so we can link not this collection directly but we need a collection info node here link the geometry to the true attribute of the switch select relative because we want to use the origin position of each object of our collection to be used on the surface separate children and reset children enable the snap tool here in the geometry nodes collapse these and for the same reason we need to use another switch to have the ability to choose what scale we want to have on our instances because if we use the curve circle we already have the circle radius so the scale of the circle but uh, for our collection we need a custom scale so we need another attribute like uh, scale instance this is a float number and we need another switch selecting not the geometry but a float number and create a dot here use the same switch value and if we have the custom collection we want to use the scale instance otherwise we want to use one because we want to use the same scale based by the radius of the curve circle and now we have here the geometry that we want and the scale that we want select all these nodes ctrl j f2 choose instance and scale now we need to instance our shape on our geometry so I can choose if we want to instance on vertices on faces and for this purpose I can 
instance on points we can start using the vertices for example so i can link i can link the geometry on my points here on the instance on point link the output of this switch in the instance shift alt and click to see the result no result because we have no circle resolution and no circle radius so uh, the minimum value of the resolution of the circle we need to set here three for example and the minimum value of three so if i increase these and increase the circle radius you can see this effect but there is a problem if i increase my circle we have the original plane geometry here i don't want and i don't want this effect i want to have the effect on the center of my face or on the points without instantiate the circle on the boundary of my surface so to do this i could select my plane tab to enter in edit mode and i could right click and subdivide manually or i can add another attribute on my geometry nodes that i move here i can rename it in subdivision from zero and i can use this to subdivide my mesh and time before using it in my instance on point and this is an automatic way tab subdivision one and this is the result and now you can see the correct point in the center of my subdivided mesh but there is the problem of the boundary so to fix this i need to ask me if i have here the plane and this is subdivided i want to ask me the count of a face directly connected for each vertices of my surface so here we have a point connected to four faces here we have one point connected to one faces here two one two one two one and these two so for these i can select only points that have at least four faces connected and for these i can import a vertex neighbors and ask me if the face count is greater or equal to four and link the result in the selection and this is the final result now if we have the curve circle we don't need the peak instance but we need the peak instance only for the the shapes collection in this case so i can import the group input node and link the flag the check of use custom collection directly to the peak instance in this case if i have a custom collection i want peak instance from this collection following the sequence of the object inside this collection otherwise i don't want the flag using the simple curve circle that i have here Control h now another problem the rotation now i have a plane so this is uh, very easy but if i delete the annotation press tab to for edge selection click here and if i extrude these edges with e on the z for one unit minus one unit press enter you can see the wrong orientation of this circle so i need to capture the vector of my normal information of my subdivided mesh so this is subdivided you can see it but this is subdivided one time and if i link this to the normal and use this with an align you let to vector i want to rotate the z axis of my single circle curve so the z axis to this vector of the normal and link this to the rotation and this is the effect okay i can decrease a little bit the radius and for the scale i can link directly the output of this switch on this scale value and nothing changed because in this case we have no custom collection selected but i'm using the curve circle we can move the these nodes a little bit now to make holes on this surface we need to create a surface and to do this we need to shift all these curves 
a little bit, extrude the surface and then use a boolean operation to subtract these meshes from the original surface. So to do this we need to translate instances a little bit and for this we need another attribute that we can move at the bottom of our attributes called threshold from zero. This is a float number and this is the distance that we want to use to shift these curves because uh, we could have a surface with a thick and because of this we need to increase or decrease this shifting to have the correct union of these shapes before the boolean operation. To let you understand, if we have large thickness of this surface we will not be able to create the boolean operation because the threshold would be too small for our purpose. So we need to have a different attribute that we can use to increase the shifting of the curves to create a correct shapes and then apply the boolean operation on the original mesh. So in this case I can deselect the local space and I can use the group input node and use the same normal information to shift each of these curves. So I need to use the same normal information in a scale node when we want to use the threshold value and link these to the translation. If I increase the threshold you can see these shifting but in this case I want to use the opposite direction so I need to multiply the threshold by minus one and link the value to the scale. So in this case if I have zero I have no movement. If I increase the threshold I want to have these shifting and you can see now for the reason described before this radius that uh, has to have more threshold if the radius uh, is increased for example otherwise we will have these little shifting and these collision between the curves and the surface. If I press one you can see it. I don't want this effect. I want to increase these to let me have the correct shifting distance. Now that we have this effect I can collapse the scale. Ctrl H to this node. Select all these nodes. Ctrl J F2. Instance on vert. This is save the project. We need to create the same approach for the faces. So we can select all these nodes, Shift D to duplicate these. We need to link the original subdivided mesh to this capture attribute where we have the normal information. But this time I want to save not the normal information of the point but the information of the face. And now we have another problem. We need to instance this curve on the, these faces. So if I press Shift, Alt and click you can see nothing because we need to have more nodes here. So we need points to instantiate our curves and the points are not these points because we, we need to instantiate on the faces so to get the correct position we can use the transfer attribute and because we need points we can use the points node to create new points but we need to count the total number of faces of our surface to create new points on the space and use these points to instantiate our curves so we need to create this point here. Shift Alt and click and you see one point. Now we need to count this point. We can use for example an attribute statistic node. We can link the original geometry to this attribute but we can link from this point of the subdivided mesh for example. For this we need the index information of all faces. We need to get the max index adding one because we know that the count of our faces starts from zero. So if we have the max number of the index I need to add one to get all number of faces that we have on this surface. So Ctrl H and now we can use this value to have the correct number of counting of the points. So now all the points are here and we have to shift the position to change the position of each point on each face. So I can use this transfer attribute 
attribute, I can link the geometry here, get the vector of each indexed face of my surface. I can use the position attribute here. I can I need the position of these and use this attribute to link the position. And here we have points on each face on our surface. Now I can instance uh, with the same output of this switch selection the type of my curves here. Shift Alt and click. We don't need the selection of these uh, vertex uh, neighbors in this case. So I select these Control X and here we are. We have the correct uh, curves on each face. But the rotation is wrong. The rotation is wrong because we have a problem here. We don't need the capture attribute to have the normal information and use these output to our points because we use these nodes uh, as the points that we have that we need to instance uh, the curves so I need the normal using another transfer attribute in this case I can link the geometry in this node choose the vector and because we want the normal information of each indexed faces and use these for the rotation on these nodes. So I can drop this capture attribute, this dot, move this transfer at attribute a little bit, use the same approach for the scaling, nothing changed. And now we can drag this in this section, create a dot here and rename this section instances on faces. Now we have instances on vertices and on faces. We need to choose what we want here. So we can use the switch node here, two switches, one for the vertices and one for the faces. So import the group input and if I want the on vertices, I want to use this geometry. Otherwise, no geometry. Duplicate this switch another time, H, H. And if I want the faces, I want the output of this entire section on my true value and nothing in the false. Control H, we can move it a little bit, select all these nodes, Control J, F2, distribution. Now we can join it together, one and the other, shift Alt and click. And now if I set one here on the vertices, I have curves on vertices shifted by the threshold that we set here. And if I set on faces, we have also the curves shifted on our faces. Now we can create a uh, single mesh for each uh, curve. So to do this, I need to press tab, enable the face orientation to see the result of my normals on my curves. It's very easy. We just need to fill this curve and this is the orientation of my faces. Now we need to extrude this mesh, shift alt and click and we see the correct extrusion direction but there is a wrong um, normal for the first phase because if we press shift alt and click we have red color here so we needed to flip these before joining with the extruded mesh so we needed to flip face here and now that we have the extruded face we need to join them together and this is the correct color that we want all the normals are offside of our meshes and for the scaling we need to use the threshold value multiplied by two because we used it to shift the original curve on the surface inside the surface and now we want to use double in this direction to go offside the surface. So we need the group input, use the threshold, multiply these by two and use these to offset scale. And now we have the correct extruding of these meshes. Then we can easily merge by distance to merge the connected vertices together. This is very important, otherwise the Boolean operations would not work properly. Shift, Ctrl and click and press Tab to exit from the edit mode, otherwise you can't see the information on the spreadsheet. So if you press edit mode, you can't see anything. Tab 
to exit and this is the result I have instances I don't want instances because the boolean operation works with meshes real meshes so I need to create a realized instances here because we want shift control and click I want vertices and real mesh control H here I can select all these nodes control J F2 merge now we need a solidify modifier to the original shape before the boolean operation and for this it's very very easy uh, we need another attribute like the thickness is a float number from zero now we can create another dot here so three root here we can link the original subdivided mesh on this dot move it here shift d to duplicate it we can link these together and we can extrude the original surface link these to these shift add and click and this is the extruded mesh that we want but make attention that we need to deselect the individual because we want this kind of effect and not outside but inside because we want to maintain the original shape intact and to do this we need to flip the offset scale so for this purpose we can use the group input here we can use the thickness multiply by minus one because we need to go inside or you can use the normal vector scale by minus one if you want it's the same otherwise the extrude mesh already uses uh, the normal information of each faces if you are extruding the faces or the normal information of the edges or the vertices so I link these to these I increase the thickness a little bit and we have the problem of the normal information so we need to flip this result shift alt and click I create the here a dot because we need a join geometry to link shift alt and click the original surface with the flipped extruded part together so we can use these and these together shift alt and click and this is the final result tab to exit to see the surface ctrl H select all these nodes Ctrl J F2 solidify H H and now that we have the solidify modifier on the original surface and the realized instances of our meshes we can use the mesh boolean operator so we want to have a different from the extruded original surface and our instances shift alt and click and this is the result it sucks because because we forgot to deselect individuals here in the extrude mesh node in this merge section you need to uncheck this individual and now this is the result uncheck the face orientation turn on the material preview increase 32 and enable the shade auto smooth if you want you can use my previous tutorial to fix the auto smooth effect on this uh, surface if you want now we can manipulate the shape of this surface as we want so I can select these edges and extrude on the Y axis and have these effect we can decrease a little bit the circle resolution and increase the subdivision and this is the result because we now have the subdivided piece of our surface that is larger than our circle radius so we need to decrease the radius of our circle to let the boolean operation work properly now I can increase the subdivision another time same problem here 0. 0 0.04 0 0.03 increase a little bit the thickness so 0 0.02 for example perfect I can increase the subdivision another time to see the result and this is perfectly clean and now instead of using uh, the circle curve we can use the collection but keep in mind that we need to adjust these things one is the scale of this instance on faces because here we have one value for the scale but we need to use the same output of this switch for the scaling value and 
then we need to link these to the scale and another thing that we need to adjust is these so you can see if I select the use custom collection and select the shape if I set one to the scale instance I have no result because the instance is very large if I set 0.05 for example we don't have nothing because if I press shift alt and click you can see these meshes if I press one you can see the different tab to see the original surface and you see that if I increase the threshold we have a weird effect here we have no influence on the center of the mesh in one direction and in the same way to the other direction so we we can see the origin point is shifted if I increase or if I decrease the threshold keep in mind that we have here the scale instance and we need to divide the threshold value multiplied by 2 by this scale instance to have the correct offset scale so if I press 1 for example and shift Z you can see the correct alignment on this surface if I set 0 you can see no threshold here and the correct origin point of each custom curves if I increase the threshold you can see the correct uh, extruding in this direction and this direction in the same way and you can see if I decrease the scale instance this point of the shifting along the normal remain the same but the other part so the extruded top part of our faces moves and if I decrease 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 I have this weird effect so to maintain the correct proportional value from the threshold and the scale instance instance we can see that if I decrease this value below one I need to have more threshold and to fix this I need to divide this value by the scale chose here so I can link this scale instance here and use this for the offset scale press H move this a little bit now if I increase the threshold I have the correct extruded value here even I decrease or increase the scale so you can see the scale changes the other axis of my uh, first face that I shifted in this direction and then I extruded to the opposite direction twice maintaining the correct proportional value with the scale instance and now if I increase I have the correct threshold now if I go in the 3D space shift Z and press shift alt and click on the mesh boolean I decrease the scale to have a small plane custom plane 0.05 for example and this is the correct result tab to see result here I can increase a little bit to see this result and keep in mind the limits of this technique are these one is that you can keep in mind the uh, to create the correct distance of each face of your not subdivided mesh so in this case we have two unit and 1.3 unit for these edges and to get the same result we need to select this edge Control shift tab increment absolute grid, grid snap activated G to move Y press hold control and click on this point on the grid tap to exit from the edit mode and this is the same result of this face and this is one limit the second limit is that if you use another custom shape on your collection so shift D Y to move these a little bit tab to enter in edit mode one to select only vertices if I select these two vertices M to merge at the center you can see this result you can see that we have here a different pattern and this is not an order at the pattern because the order of indexing on this surface is choose by uh, blender in this case so we have here square triangle square triangle square triangle and this is the same but in the third row you can see 
two triangles here and two squares here. So keep in mind that depending on the order of uh, the indexes on your surface, uh, you would probably have a weird effect. Rename these in holes. And this is the tutorial. If you want to use this geometry notes modifier on your project, you just need to go to file menu, open or create a new file and then choose the link or the append menu, select the files that contain at least one object on which there is this geometry nodes modifier, go to the subfolder node tree and select the holes. This will add on your environment the geometry nodes. After this, you'll be able to create a new shape like this, G, Y to move it, add a geometry nodes and select from this list holes and you'll be able to manipulate this parameter as you want. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please check a thumb up and if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel and follow my videos, checking the bell icon to get all the notification about them. See you to the next video, bye!